had a request um, from one of my videos to show how I made my fried green tomatoes. So I'll apologize first off, my kids aren't here to help. It's just gonna be me, I'm at my work apartment currently. Um, first thing you need some green tomatoes. I got these, um, I think I got these two yesterday or the day before out of the garden. And I got these two a little bit longer. This one's starting to turn yellow, so it'll be like a softer um, tomato. But let's get started. It's uh, pretty easy. Oh, and for frying, I have found frying breaded things. This coconut oil works, well, any coconut oil, works really well um, to fry breaded things in. But it also gives a little bit of coconut taste I'm not a fan of. I'm gonna kind of mix these together for the oil that I'm frying in. Um, but I'll show you how I bread them and everything right now. All right, the first thing we're going to do is get a couple of bowls or a bowl on a plate, however you're going to do it. But in the first bowl, I'm simply going to put two eggs, about a tablespoon of whipping cream. Sorry, um, it's not just those two things. I'm also putting some uh, salt, pepper, and garlic in it as well uh, to help season it up. I couldn't find regular pepper here, so I used some of this chipotle powder pepper I had sitting around. All right, now for the other bowl, I got some of these pork rind crumbs. Um, I bought this this time, uh, but you can just use a food processor and crush up some regular pork rinds. Parmesan cheese, I'm doing those. I'm gonna put in, um, I'm gonna start with half a cup of each. That might be way too much, it might be way too little, um, but it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Actually, I think I'm gonna do a third cup of each. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a third cup of each and I'm gonna add my salt and garlic and pepper and stuff into that as well. Sorry, apparently I wasn't recording putting the ingredients in, but I did use a third cup of both um, with some salt and garlic. Make sure you don't oversalt this. Parmesan cheesy, cheese is already a bit salty. The pork rinds are gonna have some salt in them, so don't oversalt this part, but still need some salt. Um, now, I'm gonna slice up these tomatoes. Um, you don't want the slices too thick, but you also don't want them too thin. Um, I'm gonna start by slicing up two and see how much batter I have left. And if I have some more left, I'll slice up another one as I go. Um, when you slice these up, you want to slice them. And then we're going to dip them in the egg. And then we're going to coat them with the, uh, with the pork rind Parmesan cheese crust uh, mixture. And then we're going to sit them on, uh, this is what I have set up. I'm going to sit them on here to rest for just a little bit before we actually fry them.
Okay, so it looks like that was just enough crumbs to do three of my little tomatoes. I do have like some of this egg mixture left, which I just poured some on the floor while I'm trying to show you. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I'll say about this as far as nutrition, it's, it's hard to do nutrition on it. You'll have to figure out how much of this is left, how much of this is left, subtract it from the amount you put in, see how much of your oils are left. I have no idea the nutrition. I don't eat this on days where I track really strict. Um, but now that I've got these set up and I'll show you how I have them set up now, um, I'm going to get some oil hot to get ready to fry them. Oh, just another note, when you're dipping them in the egg and the batter or in the pork rind mixture, shake off the excess. You don't want a whole bunch of the excess getting into the oil. Um, you just want what sticks to it to kind of stay on it. So here's the setup now. Looks like I have 11 and a half. That's a tiny one there. Um, so I'm gonna get some oil hot. All right, once our oil is good and hot, we're gonna throw one in as a test. We want it to start sizzling a little bit. We don't want the oil too hot. We don't want these to cook in like 30 seconds either because they'll burn. Um, so I'm gonna test one now. All right, that looks good. Let's cook some more. Now while these are cooking, we're gonna get some uh, paper towels set up on a plate to set them on when they're done to, so it'll drain off some of that excess grease. All right, once this um, bottom is good and crispy, you can kind of pick up and look at it. Once it's good and crispy, then we're gonna flip it over. So done cooking. Here's my end result. Fried green tomato. It's cooled down a little bit. So good and warm. And that is delicious. This is one of my favorite things, especially this time of year, when uh, you can just pick them straight off, straight out of the garden, and eat them. I'm being enjoyed.